welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am the psychic, the medium, the channel, Tony Green. I want to welcome everybody to the show and um and say say hey, first of all. <laughs> I need to tell you, prior to the show, I'm on YouTube Live, like chatting with everybody in the chat and not even clearly not even looking in the mirror at how my hair or anything looks. And I was like running so late this morning and um, I'm just, let me put it this way. I'm lucky I have pants on right now. <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> like that's how quickly my morning has gone. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so please forgive me for not having a full on ready intro, which by the way, just for the record, I never have. I never practice an intro. I want it to be like me, you know, all confusing and stuff. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I just need it to be just like me, all like unprepared and confused at all moments. <laughs> okay, here we go with the show. If you would like to call in, I am taking callers live you can call in. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. And you can ask a question about life, love, relationship, romance. Relationships and romance are no longer the same thing. Money. Did I say career? Work. A loved one on the other side. Someone up there. Who wants to talk to someone down here? Okay, you guys, I have so, 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 so many messages for you. Holy guacamole. I was getting vision on vision on vision on vision last night. I'm just saying vision on vision on vision. The first one, which they are giving to me again, there is somebody listening and or watching right now that needs to check their partner's vehicle. I normally don't come through with... I just normally, I normally, I didn't even do my PSAs. This is how this, apparently this takes priority over my PSAs, which are coming, by the way. They are on their way. Um, somebody has a partner out there that has a extra phone in their vehicle. Now, in this particular vision, I see this phone, you know, here's the seat cushion and here's the back of the cushion. I see the, that phone being stuffed in there. Somebody needs to check their partner's, their partner's phone. Somebody does. Yeah, because, or there, somebody needs to check their partner's vehicle because there's an extra phone in there. Now, again, I don't do, I don't love cheating readings. I don't like doing them. If it comes through, um, I will give it, but I don't like if people ask me, is he cheating on me? It's not that you don't deserve to know that because believe me, we do deserve to know it. It's just that I can't ans always answer all the follow-up questions that people ask like, What's their name? Where do they meet? How many times? I don't, I don't, I don't. But I can tell you what to do to bust somebody. If you want to know how to get the evidence yourself, I can, in a private session, in a private session, I can tell you it, all the steps and everything you need to do to turn a partner out if they are being turned out by somebody else. I love when, when partners think they're being slick and really <laughs> you're just collecting enough evidence to burn them at the stake. <laughs> I don't know why I love that, but I do. <laughs> I do. Anyway, okay, <laughs> enough about that little. See, I'm a Gemini, so I have two sides. There's I And I have Gen Gemini in at least three places on my chart, so... Yeah. So Gemini is duality, like the two personalities. So there's six of me. Pick one. Pick one. I probably have Gemini in four places on my chart. 
which means in those four, each of those places, there's the duality, the good, the bad, the ugly, truth, the lies, the anyway. Um, so yeah, so as much as I'm like airy fairy, lovey dovey, don't cross me. <laughs> because you might not know the depths I'll go. Mm -hmm. But I think that's with anyone. That's not just Gemini, right, folks? That's just not Gemini. And we are, all, we will all, we will all bury that body and put endangered plants on top so it cannot be dug up. <laughs> and we will help each other do that. <laughs> Every girl I know is like, I'm in. I'll help you with yours if you help me with mine. So you boys need to watch out out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this. If you think this is inappropriate, you might be right. If you think it's funny, you are definitely right. <laughs> oh, Heather says Taurus here. Yep. Taurus is in like Flynn on that. Taurus is like, I'm bringing the shovels. We ride at dawn. <laughs> And Taurus is like, once we start, there's no turning back because I'm stubborn and we're doing this. You said we get to do it. We're doing it. <laughs> Don't take this away from me. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys. Oh, Fawn is a Taurus too. So to, to, I know I have two. Heather and, and Fawn are right there with it. Now you've got three, three of us. We're ready to go. Oh, and um. Keisha, Keisha is um is the Taurus too. Now there are four of us, and if you count all of my Gemini's in me, eight plus four, there's twelve of us. There's like seriously twelve of us ready to ride, ready to do this thing. Okay. <laughs> to all my Taurus girlies, I love y'all. I love you all so much, so so much. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. I'm gonna do a few PSAs and then I'm gonna take colors, a color and then a question online and then a color and a question online and a color and question online. I'm gonna skip over the songs and the names today just because I wanna be able to get everybody and I have so many, um, so much going on and I wanna take a little time with everybody today, okay? Um, so here we go. PSA, I will never reach out to you. Never, ever. I go live every Monday and Wednesday, Monday at noon, Wednesday, Wednesday excuse me, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. I, um, If you want to join the show, you can join live on YouTube and ask questions on YouTube, join the chat, make new friends, or we can... Um, or you can call in 845-277-9131. If you are in the chat right now and you have a question, please make sure you hit that one so you can raise your hand. Um, the other, what? oh, I do private sessions and my private sessions are much, I, I'm just gonna say this, I'm I'm really goofy on the show, but my, my private sessions are very, um, it, it, they're different than than this, like what's going on on the show, right? Since the beginning, they're very focused in, in tune. A lot of channeling going on. A lot of information comes through. It's it's very focused on you, what you want and what you need. Um, <clears throat> if you would like to call in or ask a question, there's still time to get that in. And if I miss your question, please do not uh, be upset with that. Just repost it again so I can um, so I can uh, get to your question. And I'm going to have to, there's a lot of conversation going on in the chat. So I'm going to have to scroll through and get to those questions on the chat. But the first caller is 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Kate. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Kate. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, it is Thanksgiving week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hey, Kate. Hey, what's God. going yeah. on? Celebrating all these. Um, so I am in Seattle, and I went to a like Scandinavian Christmas market, and 
I bought these um, they had homemade cookies that my mom made every oh. Christmas, and it's funny, and they made me cry, like thinking when I had those cookies. So I just want to say hi to my a message to my mom. And thank her for all the years of making Christmas cookies with me every year. Oh, my goodness. And she says it's no accident that you ended up there with those cookies. She just wanted you to have a touch of home. Oh. A touch of home is what she's calling it. And she wanted you to have to know that she's with you, even if she's not with you. And she also wants to tell you that um, she's singing. I think it's that. I don't know who sings this. It's like a rock song. Don't cry any anymore. Don't cry. I can't sing. Like I think it could have been. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank God. I know what you mean. Thank goodness you know it. Um, uh, and those are the only words I'm hearing, so I can't even catch a beat to it. But thank goodness, I'm so grateful. You know exactly what song that is. And then she is saying that um, she wants to give you the song "Rock Around the Clock." Again, not again, but she wants to give you that song. We're going to rock, rock, yeah. rock. Okay, thank goodness. So I don't have to sing anymore. Sorry, folks. Um, and she also wants to tell you um, wherever you are this year, get uh, <laughs> the words are coming so fast. I can't get them out. Um, a Christmas tree. Even if, if you're going places or you're traveling have a, a baby Christmas tree with you just to have Aww. that sense of holiday with you and to be in spirit, to just be very in spirit. She loves you. She misses you too, but she doesn't miss you the way she you miss her because she can hear you. She can feel you. Oh, yeah. She Okay. She's she's okay. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. She she but she okay. <laughs> that was like a firecracker of channeling yeah. there, yeah. folks, <laughs> folks. And I felt her just go when she was done. She's like, okay, I said what I said. I'm moving on now. Um, thank you, Kate, for calling in. I hope this was helpful for you. <laughs> Perfect. She was waiting for me to call, so that was she had it already. So thank you. <laughs> she did. She did. She did. Oh my goodness, she totally did. And she was like, she wasn't gonna stop until I got it all out either. She, like she didn't even give me a chance for a breath in that. I love her. I love that. Thank you so much, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, love. Please call in again as the holidays are coming up on us. I might do a show Thursday night, uh, 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 Hello to Heaven, or uh, just I'm thankful for show on Thursday. So please pay attention to and click in if you need to, like to follow whatever, hit whatever button you need to hit so that you, you know if I do a pop-up show on Thursday. Okay, everybody? How does that sound, Kate? oh wonderful yeah i'll be there perfect i know you will i know so do, if you if you do don't <laughs> go I'll ahead and call for, back I'll early thanksgiving i'll be ready to to celebrate with my second family oh. excellent excellent kate okay we will chat with you so we will chat with you soon thank you so much thank you you are welcome i'm gonna go to the question on line and it's from i have to go all the way to the top it's from uh fawn fawn wants to know if her daughter miranda and her partner her current boyfriend is is it the one um fawn they're gonna be together for a little bit i feel like miranda is gonna call it quits on this one i feel like when miranda is um 28 ish I want to say this two different ways. Um, <clears throat> it's it's one of two things. Either when she is 28, she's going to get married or she's going to meet the person she's going to get married. Now, if she's going to get, if she's going to meet the person at 28, that's one thing. But, but if she's getting married at 28, I feel like she meets the person in her late 26. 
Um, I feel like this is a good guy. I feel like there's something fundamental, and I get goosebumps as I say that, whoo, fundamental between the two of them that uh, may not <clears throat> work. He's, he, he's a really good guy, and you would think on paper this looks good, but it might be something, there's just something fundamental that's the only word they're they're giving me one other word, but I'm not going to use it. It might be, it might be cultural. It might be a fundamental cultural belief, or I don't want to put too much into it because it's not your personal thing. But I do feel like that. Unfortunately for both of them, this is going to be short, shorter lived. It's not going to be long term. But because there's somebody coming in, and um, this person. Uh, I'm just going to tell you at 28, the, she'll be with the person she's going to be with a uh, very, very long term. I hope that helps. I hope it helps so much. Um, Fawn, thank you for asking that question. And um, to everybody in the chat, I try to go through the calls, uh, the questions one at a time. If I miss your question, please just uh, repost it in the, in the bottom. Um, and I will be uh, happy to answer. <clears throat> I'll be happy to answer that again, or I'll be happy to answer that for you. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. Yep, it's time for the caller. Okay, <laughs> 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Katie. Thank you so much for taking my call. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'm currently in New York. Hey, Katie. Happy Thanksgiving. How can I help you today? <laughs> okay. So I found a place. I, um, I'm moving. And um, it's in Atlanta. And it's a beautiful high rise. And um, I'm supposed to move this week. And um, I just wanted to know, um, do, I don't know if you need the name of the place, but I just want to know about uh, as me living there, or the energy around it, or or the building, or how it's managed, kind of. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, okay. Katie, um, Here's what I'll tell you. On TikTok, I do a, a lot of clearings. As soon as you get into your place, as soon as you start moving in, there's a clearing in there mm -hmm. for you. Someplace in my TikTok, there's a clearing for you, your home, and everybody in it. Go and play that while you're moving in on okay. repeat. I also, yeah, I, I think you'll, if you play it once a day for a week and then reinforce it, I, I feel like it'll be good. I do feel like, you know, when we live in communal living, it's a matter of mixed energies to begin with. I feel like it's going to be mm -hmm. okay, but I do feel like you're going to have to be, um, when you first, is it when she first gets in, you know, while you're there, mm -hmm. they're say, the way they're saying it, I'm just going to say it the way they're saying it, be aware of mm -hmm. your, be aware of things. Be vigilant, be aware. Mm -hmm. And whenever we get into a new environment, we should anyway, we should, we mm -hmm. just, we need to. Um, right, right. The way they're saying it is, um, huh, I, I'm not, I'm not completely understanding the exactness it's not that I'm not understanding it. They're not giving me the exact thing you need to be aware of. But here's what I'll do. Um, okay. When are you moving in there, Katie? Um, I told them Sunday, but I'm thinking about, uh, like, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. On um, next Monday's show, call this, in, this and we'll do a clearing for you. Okay. 
we'll do a clearing for everybody's home. And that'll be perfect because after the holidays and having people come through our homes and having all different types of energies pop mm -hmm. up in, uh, it'll be nice to clear everybody's home for the holidays that are coming up also. Mm -hmm. So on Monday, call in and we'll do a clearing for everybody and their homes. And that'll be the best way I can handle this. I, I just, that's, that's what I'm going to say for you. I feel like other than that, everything will be okay. <clears throat> but be very aware of okay. your surroundings as you're moving in. Okay. Don't, um, the biggest thing I'm hearing is don't make assumptions. Okay, love. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. You are so welcome, Katie. Thank you. And congratulations mm -hmm. on your new place. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay. I am going to go to the next question on, um, uh, on, uh, YouTube. I'm so sorry, folks. I'm looking for the next question. I think it's Jessica. Jessica wants to know, having some family issues, wondering if I should get an attorney or if it will work out without getting one. You know, Jessica, I wish you could call in because I know you left a message later that you're at work and you can't. Um, is she going to need an attorney? Eventually, you'll need an attorney. Just keep really good documentation between now and then. You will need an attorney no matter how much you try to I'm getting the words appease or negotiate you are eventually going to need an attorney that can step in and I hear the song keep them you gotta keep them separated and then finalize like separate like separate like either separate things, people, whatever it is, divide, separate, and then finalize everything because someone involved in this is being a bit crotchety. I hope it's not you, Jessica. I don't think it is. Uh, somebody involved is just being, being very stubborn and they're not going to let up. They're not going to back. I hear the song by Tom Petty, and we, and I won't back down. Uh, so somebody involved is, if I'm getting this correctly, um, whether it's your family against something or your family against each other, something or someone, if it's an entity or a person, they are not going to back down. They're going to be crotchety till the end. And I'm not talking a good crotchety. It's a bad crotchety. Um, so you may, um, keep everything documented, only communicate in written stuff like texts, emails, um, and only if they try to reach out, do not answer, make them respond in print, whatever print or text or whatever also, so that you have everything. Um, if this makes sense, please let me know, Jessica. Otherwise, I will, uh, if it doesn't, then I'm going to recommend that you get a private session. And if anybody is wanting a private session, the number is for um, the, you can go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. And uh, Oh, you can get a all the information and then you call my business number for that to call into the show 845-277-9131. If you have a question, please remember to hit that the number one on the, the thing so that I see your hand up. Otherwise, I will not um, hit your button. The next caller is 305-305. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Eileen, and I'm in Miami, Florida. Hi, Tony. Hey there. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. How are you, love? I'm good. I'm moving through my changes here. I'm advancing in my career. I just had a brand new website. The guy is still working on it, but he knows what he's doing, and I'm 
wanted to move into a, a new direction for my career uh, and, and expand it out to a larger audience. Um, and you just got to upload these descriptions so that the platforms pick up the words. You know what I mean? Yep. So do you see it, Matt? Do you see it working positively? Because I have a following for um, over 50 years, and I just did a big mailing blast to do for the holidays a discount, you know, 20% off of my paintings, my originals, and then 15%, 15% like that. And I'm praying that I get some orders so I get hit. Okay. It coming um, together. I feel like it's going to go slow going in the beginning. Make sure you're offering gift certificates also. I feel like... I have that on my website as one of my products. Good. I do feel like when it first gets, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to say this this way. Listen to all the words, not some of the words. Um, okay. Okay. When everything first goes out, don't expect an immediate response, but within a week to two weeks and even a month, there will be response. The biggest thing I'm hearing is be consistent. Don't sit down. Don't go, oh my gosh, it went out today and nobody, like it's been 48 hours and there's absolutely um, no response. Um, basically, let it, um, give it a minute. It will, it, wills, um, it will come back. You will get response, but be consistent and send follow-up uh, emails, send follow-up things. And remind everybody of why they would want to give this as a gift, why why they would want to, um, what a great gift this would make, and why. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's how how I'm getting it. But yes, it will just not right out of the gate. It's like they're showing me a horse race, and just because the horse isn't like rounding the first bend in first and maybe it's lagging behind um it's actually just assessing the other horses and then it takes off and ends up running the winning the race and that's kind of what they're showing it. me for this so just because it doesn't come out of the gate full steam ahead doesn't mean it's not going to work that's the best way i can put this be patient but also be consistent and make sure that you are, whatever's on your site, take snippets of it and put it on all of your social also, okay? I are, I did all of that last night. Um, my web designer put it on all the social media Good. platforms, and I did all that. And I have, I said the date for uh, cutoff is December 23rd, so I'm giving them a whole month to think about okay, getting perfect. an original one of my paintings. Excellent, artwork excellent. For others. Excellent. That is beautiful. I think it's going to be good. I think that you have you have a lot of things in order. Also, make sure you say, because these are originals, I can only do X number. So people have an urgency with it. Okay? Got it. Uh-huh. Perfect. Well, okay. original means one of a kind. Right. Right. And, and if, then I make prints. Yeah, limited editions, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. So if you are okay, if you are creating yeah. that, if there's anything you're creating for people, make sure that you. The way I meant that, let me explain the way way I meant that. If you're doing work that people are requesting and creating, which you should kind of offer, um, make sure that you have a a, a limit on it, because I get that. Re I don't know why, but I get that. I don't know how to say this, uh, what the pro proper, maybe the proper words are. So I'm just going to say it the way I know it. If somebody could call you and request, let's just say, I would like you to paint this or that, make sure you're A, offering that, and B, you have the time frames and the numbers that you can do in those time frames. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Whew. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. 
Excellent. I hope Thank that- you for the confidence, the confidence and the affirmation. Absolutely. And and again, happy, I was going to say happy Halloween, happy Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. I know already. Amazing. Right. Um, okay. And I yeah. hope that that made sense to you. Like if that's not something you offer, you might want to, but, but if not now, maybe later on down the line. Okay, love. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Have an amazing Thanksgiving. I am, I did, I, uh, hey, Maris, hey, Heather, um, Keisha, okay, Keisha wants to know, I don't normally answer this on, oh, so Keisha already knows the that this is happening. She just wants some details on it. So Keisha wants to know, is Eugene cheating with a young or a older woman? Um, Keisha, I feel like the person he's cheating with is, well, I don't like this answer. So I'm asking more questions. Um, here's what I'm going to say to you, Keisha. There are ways to get the evidence that are where it cannot be like they're irrefutable, like he cannot fight it. And I'm not going to say those ways online. Um, for a couple of different reasons, but I would say there, there's a possibility that there's not only one other person in this situation. Um, I feel like you're about to find out a lot. Now, here's what I, this is one thing I can say on the show. There's a, on Facebook, there is a group called are we dating the same man you can have somebody post his picture in a, anonymously for you so you're not the one posting it somebody else is and if if they post it and you say hey is is anybody else dating this man you would be surprised at the number of women that come forward and will admit it online um so I would say that might be a first step, but before you do that, there are a couple of other things you can do, but I'm going to honestly say that in this particular case and what guidance I'm getting, um, the songs I'm hearing is He's a Cold-Hearted Snake by, I think that's Paula Abdul, and that he is, um, there's the possibility that there's not just one person that is extra. There's not only one side dish. Um, and again, there are ways without going public first. There are ways that you can get this information that is really good, really good ways to get this information if you really want to do that. Um, book 30 minutes and I'll give you some of the things that I know about that that will be helpful for you. Now, if you just know there's somebody else here, this is what I'm going to say. And it's not only for you, Keisha, it's, it's for all of us girlies or boys out here, men or women that, that are in a situation and we don't know if we should stay or go or we think this is going on. We're sane people. And sometimes somebody so, they gaslight so well and they're so manipulative that we doubt our own intuition. We doubt our own ability to know what the truth is at 
some point. And then we want that actual evidence. We need that evidence just to, to know we were right. Okay. If you think this, it, it, or if you already know it, if you have that idea, okay. If you need the evidence, there's ways to get it. But here's what I'm going to say. If in the end, all the reasons that you held on to this, like, but maybe I'm wrong, but maybe it could work out, but maybe, 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 maybe. Why did we go through all of this? If in the end, it's going to end anyway, because in a situation sometimes where somebody's cheating, the choice is either I'm going to be with this person and they're always going to cheat because this is a flaw in them. They're missing something inside. They have a hole in them that they're trying to fill with vagina. In this case, this guy has a hole that he's trying to fill with vagina and it's called an ego and an ego is a never ending hole. There's not enough to fill it up. There's not enough validation, enough women, enough vajay to fill that hole. They always need something new to pull on. If that's the case, once you walk away and you look back and you say, I can't believe I put up with A, B, C, D, M for so long, okay? Look at it from the end, like from what would be your end, Keisha, meaning the end of the relationship, you've walked away, you've healed a little bit, and you can look back at it now. And then you can say, I can't believe I stayed with it this long. Now, the other thing I say to people, Keisha, if you're in this situation, and the one solid way I can say that to help you know if this is a good person or not, or even a good, yeah, just a good person or not, Think of the person you love the most, whether it's a daughter, your mom, your sister, a niece, the person you love the most. Would you want that person to be with this man? Is, is this man good enough for that person? And inevitably, everybody goes, no, oh my God, no, I would never want them to be with somebody like him. Then you need to walk away because if he's if this person isn't good enough for them, they're definitely not good enough for you either. And the only thing you can do is walk away and just do better next time. And there is a lot of better out there. There are a ton of people out there that are better. You have to, you have to take a minute for yourself and, and, and understand why you were in that situation. But I'm going to tell you right now, the best, it, it will hurt for a minute but once you get past the pain, you move into glory. And that's that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. You'll move into glory. Okay, that's that's what I'm going to say for you, Keisha. Um, please don't um, please don't devalue yourself for someone who has isn't a value, okay? Please don't. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. I think the next caller is 646. 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? 646, three, two, beep. Okay, um, 856. Eight. Hey. Eight. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? It's hey, Rosemary. Okay, it's Charles Mayer from New Jersey. How can I help you today, love? Ah, whatever's coming in for the positive. Uh, uh, I had a loss in the family and a lot of chaos now at my house. So uh, two foot positive coming up, newer job. Lost my job on top of that. So let me pick up. Oh, okay, that doesn't really sound like a... Uh, that that doesn't sound like a really a solid question, but um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna reach in and grab a message for you, Rosemary from New Jersey. What can we tell her? <clears throat> okay, the first thing I hear Rosemary is that song. It goes dun 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 dun, dun which tells me that song is so much fun, and it tells me you need to get out and have a little bit of fun. 
in order to change your energy up and to be in that space where you are now on an upward swing of positive energy, you need to get out and do what you consider fun. The next thing I'm hearing is don't sit and wait. Make moves now. Don't wait like, oh, well, I just this, I just lost the job, so I'm going to wait a week. Don't get on it immediately and be open to things that are new and different and not necessarily either what you did before or where you are located. You might be in alignment for a whole big change of everything if you're open open to that. Um, you may be in a space where you get kind of a do-over and that do-over might even if you're open to it, include a whole new location. If you're not, then no. Maybe this is a, a remote position that you do. It's located in a different state and you're located here or just the headquarters or someplace else. I do feel like if you are ready for really big changes, they can come in right now. If you're not ready for really big changes, it doesn't mean they're not going to come in that you're not going to get a job. They will just be changes within your parameters. I do feel like you need to, well, let's do a clearing. Uh, we have let go of the past. I get a no, so let's clear, heal, release that and start letting go of this. We're ready, we'll, okay, clear that. Let's clear that. Okay, Rosemary, the biggest thing I'm getting for you, and I can't, I don't want to just keep repeating it but be be really 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 ready for everything to change for the better whatever that means for you sometimes we're taken out of situations so we can be put into better situations more solid situations so what i would like you to do is think about what if you could have your ideal life what would that look like where would it you be living and don't okay okay cool and a job like i so i want a business uh like just i'm so i'm sorry rosemary um again i i'm just gonna say this that if for a job for work i would definitely say that if there's a position, there, there's going to be positions that are open to you. You have to decide where you want to be and then go for it, okay? Um, don't wait to go after that job. Don't wait to, um, don't take time. Like I've got time, you don't have time. You need to start looking now. You need to start. And depending on where you want to end up will determine how quickly it will come in. And again, be open to things like not necessarily the exact same job you've done, not necessarily the exact same place you've been. Be open to change. That is the biggest message I'm getting for you, Rosemary, and I hope that that makes sense for you. Um, happy Thanksgiving. And, you know, I'm going to be doing a show on Wednesday at 7 p.m. If you need more information on that, please call me back on Wednesday at 7 p.m. or join my Thanksgiving show because I think I'm going to do a Thanksgiving show. Um, not sure yet, but I think so. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Hi, Eileen. How are you? Um, oh, I just lost everybody. Okay. Uh, uh, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> um, Uh, so I'm looking through all of these, looking for a question. If you do have a question, please post it. If you want to call in with a question, 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. 
Uh, thank you, Heather. Ha everybody's saying happy Thanksgiving. Um, thank you, Sal. Uh, let's see. I know. Happy Thanksgiving, Anne. Um, Maris, uh, Karma Karen, hey. Okay, so I'm going to go back up because I think I may have missed some questions. I'm not sure, but if you do have a question, please post it. I'm happy to answer it. If you uh, just want to chat for a bit, let's chat for a bit. I am going to say to everybody, um, I, the show is not done yet, but I'm going to say in the beginning, I didn't do songs and I didn't do names because I'm getting a lot of visions of a lot of different things right now. For example, the vision of the phone being in somebody's car and they and where that phone might be. So if that's for you, please take it. Another vision that I am getting is uh, oh, I don't love these types of readings. I really don't. Um, but if they're bringing me the visions, I'm going to bring them to you. So if somebody's watching who is thinking that their person might be whatever, check your credit cards because there's going to be a lot of hotels on them. Unnecessary, cheap, not cheap, but you know, whatever hotels. I'm just seeing some hotel hookups going on. Ay, 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 ay. Um, and for somebody else, someone's coming back from the past. It's in your best interest not to take this person back. They did, even though they're going to come back and be like, oh, I, that's not true. I didn't do it. I've been thinking of you this whole time. Yada, yada, yada. No, that's not so true. Um, and this may all be for one person, or it could be for a couple of different people. But this person coming back is uh, not being honest. They're actually lying. And they are just wanting to not let go of you, but they're not letting go of whatever else is going on also for that. As far as work goes, um, there are a couple people who are going to be starting their own business. I love that. Thank you. And what I'm getting is the business that's going to be started, the business that um, people are going to be starting, they're not big, huge businesses. They're smaller businesses. Um, grow as you go, where they start off in a, like a smaller space and then they, they, they take off. So for some of them, they might be, let's just say, a hairstylist that's been a hairstylist, but now they're going to branch off on their own or a hair person. Um, somebody who's been doing like nails or beauty treatments, but now they're going to branch off on their own. Or somebody who's been a consultant who's now going to branch off on their own. These are going to be, it's going to be very successful. It's a very powerful time. And I keep hearing between now and January, if you start after January, it will still be very powerful. But between now and January is a very powerful time to put those steps in gear and to move forward in a business. So even if the doors don't open or you're not there by January, as long as you have your you start now even the background work of getting whatever it is it's going to be very powerful um there's somebody if you're thinking of starting a nonprofit this is the time to start the nonprofit i feel like this nonprofit will be very very it will get big and it's really funny because on this nonprofit so for one person there's a couple nonprofits but for this one okay for this one nonprofit, I'm seeing like these really, I think they're called e, maybe emus. No, I don't think that's a bird. It's a really big bird. <laughs> How did I get out of school? How did I ever graduate? <laughs> what are they teaching in school? <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. It's a big, it's a really huge bird, a very tall bird. Um, but it, anyway, there's a lot of different animals on this farm and this farm it or not farm, but this, this nonprofit has a lot of like rescue animals that are not like the typical, like a dog rescue or a cat rescue. It's, it's like these types of animals on this nonprofit rescue. The other nonprofit I'm seeing is a nonprofit farm that works with children, not like slave labor. Stop it, folks. But like um, a nonprofit that has children like teaching. Okay, it's a farm that teaches children farming and how how to grow fruits and vegetables, so on and so forth. But it, it works with them and with the school systems to help teach the children. And it may also provide some of the food for the school systems. I'm not sure about that. But it teaches children about farming. But it's also a nonprofit. Okay, so the farm is bought under this nonprofit umbrella. It's immediately put into a trust. And then... It has a whole area for schools to come in, like maybe once a week and work different different classes to come in like once a week to work the farm and not work it, work it, but to, to help plant and, and whatever that is. And then they get to take the food or home or to take it to um, the the school the schools purchase the food also to help the nonprofit keep going. And that one's going to be extremely successful. It's going to grow exponentially, I hear. And again, it doesn't have to start out with like a hundred acres. You can start it very small and then keep growing it and even possibly have several locations for that um in in school districts the next next thing that i'm seeing for a business and going into the new year everybody wants to take control of their life everybody wants pow the power of their life and their work and their um you know love life and everything uh, so the next i'm going to do one more business and then i'm going to go to partners and where you can meet partners and i have to do this quickly the next business i'm seeing is a trucking business now there's a couple different legs to this trucking somebody's thinking of opening opening a business that like I am hearing side of the road me mechanic for tr big trucks. I don't even know if that's possible, but they show up if a truck breaks down and, and helps them. I don't even know how that would be possible, but there's a, somebody's going to go into towing business, just towing cars. Um, somebody's going to go into the trucking business, moving things like, um, whatever it is, uh, just trucking, whatever you're thinking about for trucking, go for it. It's good. Transportation is going to be huge and so sustainable through 2024, 25, 28, um, all the way through it's all the way to 32, the trucking industry or the more better, more better said, a better way to say it is the transportation business anything in transportation is going to grow exponentially all the way through and beyond 2032 now the next thing that i want to go into is where you can possibly meet your next lover lover boom um they call me lover lover i don't know why i'm doing that but i am um, because i'm channeling and they're goofy Okay, so for those of you looking for a partner wanting to co-mingle, be very careful for the hobosexual. You know, the person who's been sleeping from couch to couch all summer, beaching it all day, but now it's getting cold outside and they need some place to stay. To stay. Uh, 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 mm -mm. No. Be very careful for that. Um, I am seeing at least three of you 
will meet someone at a holiday get together, whether it's a holiday celebration, dinner, party, restaurant, you'll be celebrating the holiday with somebody. And it, now don't get me wrong here. Let's be, keep it wide open. A holiday get together can be you and a friend getting together and having a, a, a Christmas lunch or having lunch and, and having that. Um, that could be the holiday get together. Um, another one could be another, um, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Another place where people are going to meet through this holiday season. I see people sitting outside bundled up drinking like cocoa, like cocoa, like hot cocoa and ice skating going on. There are going to be some meetup people meeting there. I also see someone meeting somebody while they're actually Christmas shopping. Um, and you know what, guys, don't be afraid to walk up to a woman and ask her, hey, do you think my mom would like this? My sister would like that. If you're single and you think they're single, go for it. Women love giving shopping advice. <laughs> <laughs> and that is an amazing way to start a conversation with a woman. Um, remember, if you are single and you're looking for extra work, you can also, now I'm going to say this, volunteer to be a Christmas present shopper. They just give you their list, the sizes, whatever they want to get, and you go out and pick that up for people. Um, that is a great uh, side hustle for the Christmas time too. Okay. Other ways I'm going to get, uh, give one more way where people might meet up or you might meet your potential partner this Christmas. I'm seeing a Christmas wedding and somebody meeting uh, somebody at a Christmas wedding. This wedding is really pretty. Everything is white with red accent. It's very, very pretty. Okay. Um, and then the other way, and there's a bookstore. And again, that would fall under shopping, but a more, more, uh, more specifically a bookstore. Okay, everybody. Who, Mr. Lover, Lover. I don't know why they have me keep singing that. Okay, Laura's here. Hi, first time here. Hey, Laura, thank you for joining. Hopefully Spirit Guided Me has a message. I'm struggling and need guidance. Laura, give me what are you struggling and needing guidance in? I'm running toward the near the end of the show, but if I can answer it, I will. Um, remember, everybody, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. And I'm going to schedule a Thanksgiving show. If there's a time that works for everybody, please put it in the chat and let me know. I'll be happy to do in that time frame for everybody. Um, hey, Genevieve, how are you? Uh, wonderful to see you here, Genevieve. Uh, hey, Steve, how are you? Um, Okay. Here's Laura. My oh. 90 oh. seconds. Laura, that's a whole lot. Okay, Laura, I'm going to be back at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. I there's so much I want to say here. Um first I in the you caught us right at the end of the show, show. Laura, your, um, your son is always with you. Please, um, come back Wednesday or Thursday and 60 seconds. we will, uh, be one of the first people on the show, 7 PM. You can call in 845-277-9131 and we will go through this for you. That's a lot, Laura. Just please know your son is always with you and we will, get as much in as we can on Wednesday. I am so sorry I can't do more today for you because anything I start is going to be cut off. Um, okay, I love each and every one of you so stinking much. Please have an amazing week.